Welcome back to the channel. This is Private Zazzle for 10th TV, and today we're discussing the differences in uniform by rank. So starting off here, we have a private and a corporal, moving on to a sergeant, and finally an officer uh, in the battalion company of the 10th foot. The private and the corporal's uniforms are going to be entirely similar, with the one exception being the corporal's knot, which is going to distinguish his rank from that of a private. Moving on to the sergeant, he has a worsted wool sash. He has no epaulette, but this sash will distinguish his position as a sergeant. And then finally, the officer here has a silk sash and an epaulette as well, which is going to distinguish his position as an officer. All right, so now we can look at the hats of all these individuals. That's another thing you can use to denote rank. Looking at the private and the corporal, again, they have the same exact hat. They have wool tape and a wool tassel. Moving on to the sergeant, he has silver tape and silver line tassel. And the officer has a similar hat to the sergeant, it's just slightly fancier and would cost a decent amount more money. Another thing we can look at is the color of the wool as well as the style of the lace. Starting off with the privates, the private and the corporal wear the cheapest red wool, which is matter red. Uh, they also have traditional regimental lace. So the 10th Regiment lace is white with a blue stripe, and the privates and the corporals will also wear pewter buttons. Moving on to the sergeant, he'll wear a scarlet red, and that's going to be more expensive, but also looks a lot flashier on the field and on parade. The sergeant's also going to be wearing silvered buttons. He has lace that has no blue stripe, just straight white. And then finally moving on to the officer, he also is going to be wearing the scarlet red, and he has silver lace and silvered buttons as well. So looking at the accoutrements of all the men here, the Private and the corporal carry a traditional land pattern musket. The sergeant carries a halberd, and the officer would traditionally carry a spontoon. The last thing that we can use to distinguish all four men is the gloves. So the sergeant and the officer will be wearing hide gloves, whereas the private and the corporal will have no gloves, or in the wintertime they'll be wearing woolen mittens. All right, we can also look at the hangers and swords of the sergeant and officer here. The sergeant has a brass hilted hanger, whereas the officer has a silver sword. Now looking at the officer, he has a few badges of distinction which set him apart from the rest of the men. He has a silver gorget, as well as a black cravat, which the other men would not wear. He also has silver buckles on his belting, as well as silver buckles on his shoes as well. Alrighty, so those are the distinguishing features between uniforms of each rank that we have here. Uh, we thank you for watching. We hope to see you in the future at an event or at the next video. Thank you. This could be you. Choose your path in one of America's premier reenacting units, His Majesty's 10th Regiment of Foot. Visit Redcoat dot org